I, this is your copy tape here um, and basically it can be a little bit tricky to lay but once you've got the hang of it it's quite easy. Now what I would do if you see here that this this tape here is all a little bit crinkly and creased now I prefer to go further along the reel and get a nice smooth bit where it's not going to give you any problems. So this comes in a reel and it's sticky back. What you do, you just peel this back here and it's nice and sticky. So it'll stick to wherever you wherever you want it basically. So in my next video I'll show you how to do the uh, the circuit. Okay then, join me in my next video. Bye for now. Um, this little light here, when I first got it out of the packet, it didn't work. Now don't be don't be alarmed. You think, oh no, it doesn't work. But you should always test your bulbs and lights before you do before you fit them. And how I've done this, I've just plugged it in to uh, a 12 volt adapter and I'm going to just test the light so just plug them in make sure they work now if they don't work like I say don't panic because all I did with this was unscrew it and what had happened was the little bulb would work loose so I'm just going to switch that off and show you that it's just easy just to unscrew it look so if it, if it has worked loose it's not going to work so all you have to do is screw it back on and then put your shade back on. But it's always a good idea to test all your lights before you fit them. Um, next video will be following shortly. This is the next part of my video and what I've actually done is I've actually marked where I want my lights. And what I have done, I've measured the room and then divided it by two. And that is my centre mark there and also divided that section there by two as well. So basically, it's divided by two, divide by two and then you'll find your centre marks. And also done that for the uh, wall lights as well. So it's basically where you want the lights to be. So in my particular case, this is just a base, basic lighting system. So what I'm going to do now, because I've marked the lights, I'm going to drill a hole. And all that is, is where the cross is. Just there. And there. And there. So what I want to do here is make sure that I've got my lights nice and central. So I'll show you on the next video because I'm going to have to turn it around how to actually lay the draw the circuit and lay it. So I'll see you on my next video. I'm going to carry on drilling holes. Bye for now. You can see that I've uh, drilled a groove there. I've just made a groove there. And the easiest way to do it is with your, your, your drill. Um, just run your drill along. Make it a nice big thick drill, drill bit because you want it to be nice and deep in order to be able to fit your cable into it like that so you don't see any bulge in your carpet and how I've done that is I've just done it section at a time I've started here and further along further along further along so basically I've started here To each ceiling light really that I need to do that and uh, I think that's all so I'm going to carry on doing that okay join my next video bye for now 
Well, I've uh, drawn the circuit on the back of the house, but uh, it doesn't have to be on the back of the house. I mean, this copper tape is really good to hide under the wallpaper. Uh, so you can actually fit lights anywhere, really. I mean, you could actually follow this this uh, diagram, take it round to the side, you know, for whatever lights that you may want there, or even follow it on to the roof space. So this basically is just a basic circuit diagram. And all it is really, it's like join the dots. I mean, just follow your dots. Follow the holes, should I say. You know that's where you know that's where it is, and uh, I've used different coloured pens because it's just easier to keep track of when you're actually laying your circuit that you can actually follow it round. So that's my tip of the day anyway. So I hope it helps. Uh, join me on my next video, and we should be laying the tape. Okay, thanks then. Bye. Uh, well, I've just started to lay the circuit, uh, lay the tape along the uh, circuit diagram that I drew and what it is I've just followed the red line for now. I've drilled a hole there because that is going to be your mains inlet and I'm going to put two screws there to secure the wires that attach to your transformer but well, I'll show you that at a later time. Uh, I just wanted to explain what I've done first before I show you the, uh, the video and how to actually do it. Now if you notice, I've made joins and where I've made the joins I've actually soldered. Now try and keep your solder, should we say blobs, quite small because if it is going behind um, your wallpaper, oops, if it is going behind wallpaper then you want to keep, keep it smooth looking. Now I have cut, pre-cut some little bits of um, insulation tape. Now that's because the other tape, the copper tape, is going to run alongside it and it's going to cross over so it's going to short circuit. If I didn't put that insulation tape there it would short circuit it. So wherever it's going to cross you always have to put some insulation tape and also the reason why I've soldered the uh, joins is it just gives it a better connection. I've tested all my joints so again I'll show you in a video when I can actually do that, when my son's back so he can hold the phone for me. So if there's anything that I haven't explained on this video I'll try and cover it on, on the next and as I go along I'll explain more. Okay then join me in my next video. Bye for now.